force be with you. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Anakin, may the force be with you. May the force be with you, Master. If you've already heard this phrase, then you already know a bit about the work of one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. Today, we're gonna share the story of the man who revolutionized cinema history and influenced several generations of fans addicted to the universe of his films. In this episode of The Hero's Journey, we'll delve into the life of George Lucas, the billionaire and mastermind behind Star Wars and Indiana Jones. George was born in 1944 in California and had a passion for cars from a young age, even racing competitively for many years. The thrill and speed were elements that fueled young Lucas's heart, but an accident drastically changed his course. After crashing his car and being severely injured, George gave up racing and had to find new passions and interests. Meanwhile, his father owned a stationery store and wanted George to join the business as soon as he came of age. However, George disliked the idea of repeating his father's life routine and didn't want that job, even knowing it could be an opportunity to make money at a young age and help his family. Despite the pressure from his parents and being unable to race, George did not give up on following his heart and finding what truly excited him upon turning 18. In a brave movie worthy of a hero, George had the courage to leave home and confidently told his family he would become a millionaire before turning 30. George then pursued his path to study at Modesto Junior College, where he acquired knowledge about anthropology, sociology and literature. This knowledge was valuable in preparing him to create his revolutionary narratives years later. Interestingly, during his college years he discovered his strong talent and enjoyment in something quite different than he was used to. Combining his passion for racing, George began to devote himself to the art of filming, specifically filming car races with an 8mm camera, particularly autocross races. This is how our hero met a great ally on his journey, the renowned filmmaker Haskell Wexler, another racing enthusiast. Thanks to their shared passion, they formed not just a professional bond, but a powerful friendship. Wexler, after working with Lucas on various occasions, publicly declared that he was impressed with Lucas's camera skills at the time, noting George had a very good eye and knew how to think visually to create good scenes. In the 60s, Lucas decided to deepen his study of cinema at the University of Southern California, one of the country's first universities to offer data dedicated film program. Lucas's courage to forge his own path following his heart allowed him to be at the right places at the right time to get closer to his dreams. During his course he also met Francis Ford Coppola. And if that name doesn't ring a bell, know that Coppola is the man behind the Godfather franchise. Well, maybe we don't need to say the obvious, but when two genius minds come together and start thinking as one, they're bound to produce great results, right? During that time they made a series of short films, which would later become Lucas's first feature film. After graduation they founded American Zoo Troop Together, a company aimed at helping filmmakers create movies freely outside Hollywood's oppressive circuit. This venture into entrepreneurship was quite challenging for Lucas, despite his determination. There were many difficulties regarding resources and a lack of capital to turn his ideas into films. In the early 1970s, George Lucas had just finished filming American Graffiti and needed money as the studio had spent the little cash they had on this film but had no release date or return on investment forecast. Lucas had been toying with the idea of creating a space adventure for some time and decided to seek others with the same interest to create something new. He even sought support from Hollywood studios to fund his idea but was unsuccessful. Lucas struggled for years to bring his novel idea of Star Wars to life. But everything changed when his latest film American Graffiti was finally released released in 1973, winning the Golden Globe for Best Comedy or Musical and receiving five Oscar nominations, the success of the film gave George Lucas the backing he needed to move his project forward. 
Between 1973 and 1974, Lucas developed the script for Star Wars. Besides being a space adventure, the original concept depicted a conflict between father and son, and this troubled relationship would be the heart of the story. The first draft was quite long, resulting in a film about six hours long, and the studio that had shown interest in the film eventually rejected the idea. Lucas then proposed dividing the film into three parts. To generate financial interest in the project, George Lucas gave up his director's salary in exchange for 40% of the film's box office and all merchandising rights and production of possible sequels. That's how he dedicated himself to the first Star Wars film. Lucas's biggest inspirations for the productions were based on films like Flash Gordon, and books like John Carter and Dune. From the beginning, the creator wanted to signal to the public that this was the first episode of the saga. However, as the studio didn't want to commit to a sequel, this wasn't allowed on screen. Without the certainty of a continuation, George Lucas believed that if the first film did well in cinemas, he could make the others. And boy, he was right. The first Star Wars not only broke box office records of the time, but also won seven Oscar awards. And after that, the rest is history. The creator of Star Wars managed to make a film that cost 11 million dollars, gross about 513 million dollars, an absurd profitability for the time. Furthermore, he created two sequels to the film, forming a very successful trilogy. You know, maybe except for the Ewoks. <laughs> Then George Lucas created Indiana Jones, another highlight film of his journey, working with a friendly face he met during Star Wars. Hey. It's me. Beyond cinema, George Lucas is also known for his philanthropic work in a project led by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett that encourages the world's richest people to help charities, the creator of Star Wars is also included. In 2012, he sold Lucasfilm, his production company, for $4.05 billion to Disney. A significant portion of the profits from the sale of Lucasfilm were donated to charity. But at what cost, George? At what cost? Why Disney? Why? I'm sorry. Additionally, he's the chairman of George Lucas Educational Foundation, a non-profit company but an institution seeking to encourage and innovate in schools. And now we want to know your opinion. What do you think of George Lucas's life trajectory? We at Hero's Journey deeply revere this great master who has inspired crowds with his creations. It's a pleasure and a great privilege to connect with his stories and learn the beautiful lessons from his film. That's all for today, and if you like this content, leave a like to reach more people. And if you want to receive our next episodes, subscribe to our channel. May the Force be with you.